Hello Galaxy of Heroes, Mikey here. So, uh, Executor, which Executor, Executor, Executor. I'm going to go with Executor, definitely kind of thing. I mean, that's the whole deal about this mahoosive sheep. Um, yeah, they put the other ones in the background to give scale to just how big this one is. I'm not saying that there's a... What is it they say about men with big cars covering up something or whatever? So yeah, maybe uh maybe that fire damage more than than George Lucas ever let on. Who knows? Uh what we do know is this is the must-have new shiny, and everyone's been scrambling to get what was it, Razor Crest up to uh five star minimum i believe depending on how far you wanted to go with it well actually no five star minimum i believe um and you had to do other stuff um i've done quite a bit of them uh my ig88 for example was has been relic seven for yonks uh, due to the fact that he is pretty good in under General Grievous and in a Separatist fleet, uh, adding the droid thing. So, wondering whether we're going to get... I've got to be honest, uh, in regards to the Star Wars universe, I'm pretty much exposed purely to what I can watch. Um, I don't read any of the books. Maybe that's a shortfall that I should address. But for now, I don't know. So I don't know how many more um, toasters there are that are bounty hunters that have ships. So maybe we can get some there unless they're going to go more on the Griever side of things of that. But, uh, you know, they are kind of intimating... Um, different ships bounty hunter ships may be being introduced because you don't have a a full complement of them and uh i didn't quite understand why we weren't allowed to have houndstooth in here because that would have made things so much easier uh, I don't know why I'm talking that way but I did I apologize so this is me trying to breach everything um and of course, there's all the cleanses and malarkey that's going on and not knowing who to hit with what. But yeah, still having fun. Um, it's nice to have some... Uh, I'm thinking of doing a video of uh, Boba's rings because <laughs> I've got some awesome... Uh, what is it? Whatever it is. Bomb, depth charge that thing doing some serious damage uh in my next video um unless you watching them in reverse or whatever in which case in the previous video or if you're watching years time um have a look at the uh executor four to six star fleet battles there we go big bada boom see look In the bottom left and right pockets. So another 10 shards. So we're moving along. So we've got the, the 20s. Um, this is slightly speeded up. Um, I keep thinking that I should have speeded it up even more so. Because, uh, spoiler alert, I think this goes tits up Well, on my first attempt. I um, don't know whether this is going to give... <sighs> thinking as i was making this that uh that really the the videos that that most players are going to watch de well depending on where they are is how you counter this lot um of course this one we're kind of slightly hampered because we're doing a mixture of empire and bounty hunters whereas most players i'm going to assume are going to be running a pretty much bounty hunter full um 
comp. And why wouldn't you? Because uh, I don't think it's a spoiler alert to say that it, this is uh, as my both my daughters love to say a game changer. And uh, yeah, it does mean that it looks like we're gonna have more options of of just Grievous and Negotiator. And as I say, I mean, you know, this fleet gave me more problems, I would think, than the, um, the Ujimi flip one does, the Negotiator one. But there you go. Boba's rings, beware. The man must eat a lot of uh, chilli. That's all I'm thinking. Because these are decimating. That was getting close to um to losing everything here let's get rid of no that's not why would we do that why would we think it would be that easy but we do want to uh calm the milf down if nothing else again popa's rings Just hoping that every... Have we got a big hit coming? We must have a big hit coming. No, it's still two goes. Oh. Did go down to the wire here. But then, in my defence... Yay, there we go. Let's fire this thing. Big bang of a boom. I need to put the sound on and actually hear this. Every oh, The game sound is nearly always switched off. Um, I do need to experience this. Oh, I, I will share it with you when I do. So, now it's down to Imperial TIE Fighter. Yay! <laughs> Bugger's always missing, <laughs> missing the hits whenever you go against it. I don't know. I'm trying to think of where... Um, normally it's in, in GAC and you find that they're Imperial TIE Fighter or Thai pilot or whatever is just the more elusive than a, than a milf but uh, yeah yeah so um take 2 at going against the rebel fleet the akbar the calamari surprise so now i think i was trying as you can see to just get rid of Bistan and all the boosts he does and then see if we can get rid of the next naughty. I think we're doing a bit better this time. Better and better. There we are. Oh, gonna get Boba's rings again. Well, not immediately, but we will do. And as you can see by the gameplay, I really haven't read the uh everything about actually when i say everything i haven't read anything about this it's a case of right it's gonna do lots of good stuff let's just press buttons and see what happens i might actually read up on this one and see exactly <laughs> what i should be doing in these battles but again nah. kind of hampered as i say that you're down to having to run a mixture of bounty hunter and Empirical shippy whips. I think we're gonna do better this time round. There we go, we've got a stun on the MILF. Oh big bada boom. Still proving resilient. I am loving the amount of damage that IG two thousand inflicts and another boba ring okay so there's the 20 so now we what we're we looking for now we're just looking for the final 40 for the unlock um and as the title um word word escapes me alludes there we are alludes as the title alludes we're going to get through this and as i've already kind of given 
spoilers in regards to I think that the rebel fleet is more difficult than the negotiator fleet. I'm loving this, so here we go. So we're going to put breach onto Annie. <coughs> Um, <clears throat> just pressing buttons at the moment. Uh, okay, yeah, so we've still got the TIE Fighter. And now, am I going to lock in any, or am I going to call? I don't really need to call an assist, but oh, no, I'm going to double breach him. There we go. I don't know why, but I am. Okay, so this should now be IG-2000. Yep. Go for the thing, get the breach there. TIE Fighter. Another tank. So now I'm going to switch over. Let's, yes. Because we want him gone. Once you, once you get rid of Annie, uh... Your, your your chances of winning are greatly enhanced and so many big hits so many big hits there they should do it and it does so really now the only the only one now is yep yeah, fives and sarge can do some damage with target lock but the the main problem here now as i say is just taking fives out bring in the revamped boba ship have you remembered to apply the um the new abilities must have been i'm trying to remember now the uh the name of the Discord server, but someone was saying on there, have you done it? And I checked and I'm like, oh, I didn't even realise it was there. Be more hits, more, oh, look at those. Boba's ring. Oh, why I'm bearing down on the, uh, the tank here, but yeah. Because now we do have the annoying Ahsoka. I still think that this is an easier battle um, than the rebels, which is wonderful. In you know, it's it's a breath of fresh air there. So, okay, let's do this. Okay, <laughs> all right, I get it. I didn't want to. Uh, Waste, <laughs> waste the big bad boom <laughs> on Sarge. Well, let's go for another big rank. Look at that uh, decimation. Is it me or the all the all the f anything you seem to fight, especially against the uh, the computer side of things? rather than players and how it plays them. Um, anything in red seems to take an absolute age to kill, whereas you know, they've got tons of armour, tons, or tons of protection, tons of health, and uh, you whittle your way through to, through to the red in relatively no time. Boom. Boba's rings. It's just me. Waffling, I'm oh, sorry. But here we go. So there is the remaining requirement of shards for the unlock and activate ship. And we're going to slap all the bits on. So uh, yes, oh, yes, please. is impressive okay and then load up as far as we can I've been uh, once you get to having everything of course then you start to accrue 
all the uh, the currency and mats and stuff. Although mats, I'm, I'm struggling with getting everything together uh, in preparation of Lord Vader Dungeon Voucher coming out, what, end of the month, beginning of September. But there we go, level 85. Bing, 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 bing. Quick ship. And a massive boost to galactic power there. So yeah, been accruing these for a while. Only goes so far, but let's slap them all on. And then I think I stupidly go back to see whether putting them on changes any of the stats. But of course it doesn't because this is this side of thing. All we're doing now is boosting obviously the ship's performance and our galactic power in getting these up and running. But of course you're gonna. That's the whole deal about it. So yeah, exciting times. And uh, executor unlocked four star and as i say i've done a video of four to six star battles in fleet as well um hopefully you'll enjoy those and thank you for watching